hey, this uh, workout is going to be specifically for, for preschoolers. It's designed for parent and child to be working out together. So we're going to give you some ideas about how to work some of those skills at home, as well as uh, try some fun new things uh, with what you've got around the house. Okay, so basic skills. We've got our down block, we've got our punch, we've got our front kick. We work on those over and over again. You can also head over to the other videos with the beginner skills and uh, work those with your kids as well. That'll definitely be something they have seen in class already. So maybe they can show you a thing or two with those. But here's some ideas for working these basic skills at home. Okay. First thing, if you have access to hand targets or something similar, we're going to use that for this first one. And I'm going to have my, well, not so preschooler, uh, get her hand set so she's ready to do a down block with that hand that's furthest away from me. So that hand's coming up to her ear. The other hand's going to extend out, and it's going to come back and uh, bring back to her side. Well, this hand's going to strike into the pad and do the block. Ready? One. And then she's going to reset. Back up to your block position. And two. And then up, three, good. And then to work the other hand, switch the pad over, All right? So we stick that in the other hand, and Aileen extends up, and one. And then we set up, two, up, three, good. All right, I recommend doing 10 on each side, but the number is entirely up to you. Maybe you put together a whole nother set of things. If you don't have access to hand targets, A cushion off the couch will work, okay? So I can extend this out just like this, have her reset to that blocking position again, and just kind of position my arm behind as she strikes into the cushion. Ready? One, up, two, up, three, good. And then I'll reset, put one on the other side, holding that up with my arm behind. Yep, that'll be the hand, this hand is up. This one's up at your ear. There you go. All right, ready? One, up, two, up, and three. Good, okay? So, cushion comes in, it's a good target, it's soft, and it's a lot of fun uh, just to uh, wail on those couch cushions, okay? So now we're gonna work on punches, okay? Basic punch, I extend straight on out. If you've got hand targets at home, you can use a hand target. If not, you can use that uh, couch cushion as well. I happen to have two uh, hand targets right here. So Aylin's got her hands up, and we're going to have them punch crisscross. That means that they make an X with their hands in front of them as they punch. Punch in one hand first, then the other hand next. Okay? It's not critical which hand they start with or that it's necessarily consistent every single time, just so long as they're gonna, they punch one side, and then the other side, okay? We're looking to punch with the knuckles. Send the hand straight out for me. Hold it out. Punch it with the knuckles. These first two right here with the wrist straight through, not bent up, not bent down, all right? Nice and straight up and down like that, okay? So let's try a few of those. We're gonna strike one, two, all right? I'm gonna have you strike with your left hand, then your right hand, jab, cross, ready? One. Strike and strike. Two. Three. Good. Holding the pads up in sequence gives them a visual cue that this is the pad I want you to hit first. And this is the pad I want you to hit next. Okay? Then switch sides. Now I'm going to hold the pads up in the opposite order. Here and then here. Ready? One. Two. Three. Good. Okay. If you don't have the hand targets at home, grab that couch cushion. Kids are going to love this. You're holding this right up on your chest, and they're going to punch that thing, and they're just going to wail on it. All right. Hopefully your preschoolers aren't nearly as big as this one. Uh, otherwise, this might hurt a little bit. You ready? Punching one, two, right here on the pad. Ready? And one, two. Right here on the pad. Up here is all pretty close to my chin. Last one. Three. Good. Now switch sides. Okay. 
I'll punch it with this hand first. That'll be the front hand in the middle of the cushion. Ready? One, two, three. Good. All right. So that's our block. That's our punch. Now for our kick. If you've got a kicking shield, we'll slide our arms through, grab the strap, slide it all the way through, grab your body or bicep, pop a hand on the bottom or on the top rather, so that they don't kick it and pop that rock into your chin. Okay, we're gonna kick front kick. If your uh, uh, preschooler is just starting out, I'm gonna lay this down on my lap at an angle. Kick, good. Then I'll lift it up a little bit, kick. And then I'll lift it up just a little bit more and kick. This gets them thinking about that front kick using the bottom of the foot. Eventually we'll get on to kicking with the ball of the foot, but that's not where they are in this stage of the game. So that gets them thinking bottom of the foot, and as you raise it up, they'll keep kicking, and that promotes good form. All right, Aileen here is going to start kicking with this held all the way up. Ready? One, two, and three. Okay, six sides. Fun thing, if your kicker is pretty strong and confident with the technique, instead of kneeling, squat on the balls of your feet. Just watch. Ready? One. <laughs> Two. And three. They will get no end of fun out of kicking you over because you're balanced precariously and it helps them project that power into the pad into you and knock you over. Of course, you could always use that cushion right up against your body and they'll be kicking right on you uh, and that's gonna help promote that technique. One last thing before we go, and that's a piece of paper, okay? I can use that paper with the kicks or with the punches. If I hold it out just like this and have her punch with that front hand, Makes a nice noise. Go ahead. Good. Again. All right. Try to get them to punch straight forward. Here's the best part. When you've about beat up that paper enough, make sure it's one you can spare. Hold it right here and let them try to punch all the way through. Uh, do it again. Do it again. And one more time. There it goes. All right. They'll love tearing up that paper makes it fun, and helps get them thinking about penetrating with the punch. All right, uh, hopefully that gives you some ideas with working with your preschool kindergarten student at home, and we look forward to seeing you again soon. Ready? Attention, and bow.